Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're having a wonderful day. XP Pen sent me this tablet to review. Now this tablet is called the Deco One V2. In this video, I'm gonna open this up, put it to use, and see if it's any good. Now, I've been told that this is a great beginner level tablet and I've just heard good things about this. But there is only one way to find out if the legends are true. So yeah, this is going to be my first ever unboxing review video. Let's get started. Samurai. Oh, come on. Do you really think I was going to cut the box open with a freaking sword? Are you out of your mind? Forgive me. I've just been playing too much Ghost of Tsushima. Okay, first impressions. This doesn't feel like a cheap tablet. It's really well made. The build quality feels nice. It doesn't feel like squeaky plastic. The finishing is great. And I'm honestly surprised that you can get something like that in this price. Let's talk about some of the features. This tablet has a working area of 10 into 6.25 inches, which is not too big and not too small, but just the right size. I think it's comparable to the Wacom Intuos Pro, which I've been using for a long time, which you can clearly see by the way. But the XP Pen Deco One V2 seems to be a bit more compact, takes up less space, and it's actually sleeker than the Wacom Intuos Pro. It's only eight millimeters thick. About the weight, it doesn't feel too heavy. It's quite lightweight, so you'll have no problems with with carrying it around in your bag. On the tablet we have this draw area marked by these little white edges that you can see here. And at the side we have 8 buttons that you can customize according to your workflow. By default I think these are mapped to increase brush size, decrease brush size, zoom out, zoom in, undo, pan or the hand tool, brush tool and eraser tool. But again you can customize it to anything for example I set the last button to alt or the option key which brings up the color picker tool in Photoshop. The surface of this tablet feels nice and smooth with a bit of texture. When I first started drawing on it it felt like the surface is too smooth for me. It doesn't have that rubbery feel to it and it made little screeching noise every once in a while when I was drawing on it. But then I remembered that this tablet comes with a thin protective film. I opened it up and put it on the tablet and then when I drew on it, it felt nice. The surface was a bit rough now and the amount of friction just felt right for a good drawing experience. I wouldn't say that it felt like I was drawing on paper cause that wouldn't be so realistic but I assure you that it definitely felt 10 times better than the surface of my first ever drawing tablet which was an old Wacom bamboo. It had no friction whatsoever. The pen feels good in hand. I really like the design. It is lightweight and has a rubber grip. 
The stylus doesn't have any battery so you don't have to worry about charging it. It has 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity so that you can be super precise with your line art sketching and stuff. It also comes with 60 degrees tilt support which can make your line smoother and more natural. If you're used to shading your artwork with a pencil like this then this 60 degrees tilt feature might come in handy. It also comes with a pen stand but the pen doesn't stand very well in that pen stand so instead of standing the pen I'd rather not stand the pen but lay it on the table. How long can you use one nib? Well it depends on how many hours you're using it every day and what kind of pressure you are applying with this pen on your tablet. The cable feels sturdy, it's of good quality. I like the fact that it aligns with your tablet like this so it's less likely that you'll damage the cable. The tablet also comes with OTG adapters which can be used for using it with Android devices. So if you want to use this tablet with Autodesk Sketchbook Clip Studio Paint or any other softwares on Android, this tablet supports that. When using it with a laptop or PC, you can change it to any orientation that you find suitable. You can use it like this, this, like this, or even this. This tablet gives a nice drawing experience. The lines seem precise even when I am drawing really slow. There is no noticeable jitter and the strokes don't feel wobbly. The stylus has a nice grip, great control, and the pressure sensitivity works great for my texture brushes and stuff. I painted an illustration on camera using this tablet for demonstration purposes. Take a look. To be honest, I am surprised with this tablet's performance. Overall, it will be a good investment, especially if you have been using a very old tablet and want to upgrade or if you are trying to make art with a mouse. Please try to save up and get yourself a decent tablet. It will really help you build your hand-eye coordination which will be beneficial for you in the long run. Ok now, here are some final thoughts on this tablet. I think if you are new to digital painting, this tablet gets the job done and it's really affordable. The build quality is good the surface feels nice to work on, the pen is battery free so you don't have to worry about that, about the size, it's not too big, it's not too small, it's just the right size that you need. So if you're not looking to invest on something that has a screen to draw on, I think this might be the right choice for you. I mostly work in Photoshop and it works great with that software. So if you're looking to buy this tablet, I've put a link down in the description for you. If you choose to buy through that link, you'll get a discount. You can thank me later. Alright guys, see you in another video. Take care.